So the IRS is now adding voice bots. You know, normally I don't like the bots that they have on recorded telephone lines when you're trying to call and you're trying to get an answer. I mean, sometimes they're helpful, but most of the time they're kind of annoying. In this case, with the IRS still behind 21 million returns, I wanna make sure that our clients and everyone that listens to our channel is getting answers as quickly as possible. So I actually applaud the IRS for adding some voice bots for expanding their services. Hopefully that leads to faster service for people calling in. You know, we still have quite a few people that are sitting, waiting on refunds, waiting on returns to be processed so that they can buy a house, get a mortgage, these kinds of things. So I actually applaud the IRS in this case for adding voice bots. Um, hopefully, you know, if you've seen some of our previous videos, the IRS is hiring. They are looking for about 4,000 people over this summer, the summer of 2022. So hopefully that will also speed up the processing on some of these historical returns that are still sitting out there from 2020 at this point. So almost two years old. Now, the only thing that I just have to throw in, and it's because I'm a little bit of a sci-fi nerd, okay? Uh, as long as the bots don't go Terminator on us, I think we'll be good. So anyway, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day and enjoys life. But I thought the voice bots at the IRS was something just a little bit different and a little interesting to know about. So of course, if you have any questions, if you're having problems reaching the IRS, if you need a professional team to protect you and represent you, just reach out. You can find us, of course, at taxgoddess.com, uh, taxgoddess.com, and we would be happy to see how we can help. So in the meantime, have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you later. All right, bye.